Good morning my crafty friends. Yes. Yes, it's me. Long time no see. My apologies. Um I suppose one could say oh, that's life, I suppose, but um first time in a long time I've actually lost my mojo and in the beginning so I you know I sort of closed the craft room, <coughs> walked away spend a lot of time in my garden I'm expanding my garden because I want to grow more fruit and vegetables now and um, and we're doing renovations as well so I've sort of you know had to step back a little bit but in saying that I have been getting up early in the mornings because I couldn't sleep and I thought okay let's go grab a cuppa and get in the craft room and all I did was just do little stuff um, lots of ephemera, tags, I might go and for a couple of hours just alter some um, envelopes and things like that just to get the juices flowing. And so of course then from there um, I just end up doing small little trifold journals like these ones and then later on I ended up finishing up a couple of bigger journals but um, these videos that I'm going to be putting up are going to be in three parts because I made a lot of little stuff and I want to put that in my shop. And in, um, in saying that, I've also done a lot of decluttering. Um, I sort of know the path I want to go as far as my crafting. So I've got to do a lot of de-stashing. I have a box of um, shabby chic sort of fabrics and a boho box and they're the really big mailing boxes um, that hold five kilos and um, so yes yeah, so they're going to be huge so keep an eye out for those and also some lace packs a little um, um, a sewing ephemera pack also a, um, a franken paper pack as well but I really enjoyed making these because they don't take much time you know I can uh, put you know one together in a couple of mornings and um, without having to be stressed out and finishing a big journal to put in my shop. So, so that's, you know, that's basically it. And um, I'm getting my mojo back a little bit. I think I might take a step back from um, the journals once I've put them in the shop and go into my mixed media to do um, some horses. So um, that's my plan. All right, so um, I'll do a very quick flick through of these these um, four, and these are basically um, like a travel notebook size. I've kept them quite compact, but a lot in there, and also you know to pop into a suitcase or a bag if you want to take it with you. You don't have to you know worry about too much um, getting knocked about and stuff. So yes, yeah, so here's one here, and I've used a lot of my fabrics, coffee dyed fabrics, and um, just to get the theme going, this is just a, um, this one doesn't have a theme, it's just a little grungy journal. A lots of, a um, lot of layering. Now the pictures that I use throughout these is from um, Taylor Made Journals, uh, Lorna, because I just don't, have any more pictures that I can use um, you know to sort of tell a story <clears throat> so I invested in her kit and she has so many in there that I'll, 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 I hardly ever use so um, I couldn't use in my lifetime so yeah so that's you'll see a lot of these little photos in there so yes yeah, so a little cluster this was a paper clip but the paper clip didn't adhere properly so I took it apart and just used that um, little cluster just as a front with a bit of jewelry and uh yeah so as you can see quite a bit of layering all right and this was an envelope <clears throat> that i've altered and covered so you've got a pocket in the front with some original um i've used some more original ephemera as well here and this is uh um, looks like a little sales docket so you can see it's pretty well aged and that just tucks in here and then you've got another pocket just on the back here and that holds um altered index card okay with a little vellum pocket here that you can pop stuff in and you can journal on the back of that and that just fits in here they're like little 
hidden little pockets, aren't they? Okay, I've used some um, wax, one of my wax papers. So you have get 10 pages in these. So you've got 40 front and back, plenty of journaling space, little scrappy notebook with my little envelope, flip out envelope in there. Beautiful lace um, uh, flip here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And what I did is I lightly inked the edges on this one with, um, uh, what is it, sapphire, I think. And yes, I do have my um, gloves on because it's been cold. Uh, Distress inks, chipped sapphire I've used on here just very lightly. Um, altered envelope window okay it holds a piece of original ephemera and on the inside I've actually lined it with uh, book paper book pages because when I got this book it had little handwritten notes on the side so I've made sure that you can actually see that for a bit of interest just like that and just you know distressed it a little bit and inked it stamped it photocopy of an original piece that I have just a little rough one a little tag here I've um, altered playing card, okay, and I've actually attached it to make it into a tuck. Popped her on there, hand stitched around, little ruffle, and here's a piece of very heavy coffee dyed piece of paper that I folded just to make it look a little bit pretty and used a rusty paper clip. She might, be live, she might live in this castle, you just don't know, do you? And this is the um, photocopy of the original piece, a little piece of applique. Nice and crunchy um, book pages that I've put together, stitched around. Happy, happy, happy. This is, um, this is um, from a tapestry, you know, the, the loop, the, um, the hook and loop fabric where you can make uh, mats from. So that's on the background of that one. This is just a book page. And here I've made a little tag with a vellum pocket. I was going to, this meant to be um, printed out in full size. Another little mini version of it. I'm really good at that. <clears throat> and you can journal on the back. Envelope. And made a closure here. And you can use a belly band as a, on the back. And I've just stamped some lines on there. Here I've made a little tuck spot. This was gifted to me quite a while ago and I've just sort of grunged it up a little bit. Just goes in the back. And this was a journaling card, just plain journaling card. And what I've done was I've got um, about six, seven pages where you click out, pop out these different size tags, oval, round, squares. But I kept the actual piece that you uh, pop the tags out and I've used it as a frame and I printed um, the, this uh, image from the kit onto um, um, some film okay so I make it look really nice and then just used a bit of fabric pieces and you open up and it's a little booklet okay um, paper bow paper clip um, this here is awesome I'm going to leave Angie's link below. Angie um, used to be um, Mountain Girl Studio. I think her name is cha changed now. So I'm going to... Um, did I put that... Is that all in line? Oh, jeez. And um, really love how, how this comes up. Now, I've known Angie ever since I've um, started crafting. And Angie used to make the tiniest, tiniest little houses... Oh, you should go and check her out and go on to earliest videos. You'll be amazed. Well, she makes all this beautiful um, designs now, and I think this represented the fires they had near near their property last year, and it just inspired her to make these sort of papers, and she's got a digital kit in for this, which I purchased, of course, because I just love the look of it. And um, But now she has been commissioned to be able to use this company used her prints to put on her sa on sandals to make sandals 
so this company selling sandals with her design on i mean how cool is that so you know if i could afford i'd love to buy a pair of sandals from over there but it'd be too expensive it's a wax paper and then on the uh, flip side you've got your pen and pen holder here i've actually popped in a pencil that i decoupaged opened up pretty little lace here but it's actually a page okay and I've meant to add another page to it so it'll have another page to it okay to make it a bit longer and then here you have a little hidden tuck spot with a scrappy notepad and then this is a little booklet I won't open it because the bow is so pretty now take me ages to redo it and it's just a little book the cover is made from an envelope and you've got a few pages in here and this actually um, was gifted to me this little piece here and I just folded it up and made it into a little booklet and, then, and I won't close this now because I want to add the paper onto this so that's this journal and this has got 10 pages in it okay nice and squishy and I have all the measurements in my Etsy store so um, you know don't be um, shy checking that out so yeah so that's number one <clears throat> Number two, beautiful, this journal, I'm calling it. And uh, it's made, again, from an old piece of linen cloth. I think it's gabardine, actually. Covered it with some um, lace. And I didn't have enough, so I stitched it up and made it look grungy. Um, corrugated cardboard. This is um, packaging um, paper, just here. Okay. This is packaging paper as well. This was a top. I was running out of um, cheesecloth. And I thought, oh, oh, that's pretty close. And just used a little piece of jewellery um, as a dangle. Okay. And just some uh, seam binding as a closure. A piece of broken um, metal filigree just there. Uh, this is a, a, was a top, a stretchy knitted top. And just covered it up to get, you know, so I could see all that beautiful embroidery on the bottom here. And just a little bit here. So it just comes around. So that's that one. And see if I can untang undo this without getting all tangled up. Now this has got a really long tie to allow for a lot of expansion if you want it to. If you want to take it off or shorten it, feel free to do so. Again, this was um, this was an envelope, yes, and I covered it, and I've used also used from Taylor made journals her kit in there was um, grungy antique wallpaper and I've used that in there and just inked it up a little bit and here you've got a nice big pocket to pop in whatever you want to pop in and you can actually feel the uh, fabric in there as well so I've made a bit of a layer tag here okay I've used um, coffee dyed paper book pages packaging paper book page and then the actual photo from the kit um, this is uh, baking paper just making sure this is all in frame so that you can see it yep various papers they've been torn little ruffle and you can use it as a belly band here as well okay uh, what have I got here you go okay use it as a belly band very old music paper. I didn't want to glue too much on. That's why I strengthened it with the ruffle. And just pop that on there. That's from a magazine. Little flip. Piola, Piola paper. And this is um, from the kit as well. The girls having a bit of fun. Did a bit of stamping. This is one of my cluster tucks. Okay. Again, just made from various packaging cardboard um, embossed paper and this here is um, from a spine of a book when you take some of those books apart and they've got that um, webbing glued on I like to rip it off and and keep that and that makes looks nice and grungy grungy so lots of writing space and uh, this is packaging material that I've used to make it into a tuck uh, German book page. 
someone's up and about I can hear them I've tried this video this is the third time and here I've got a paper bag I've kept this so that you can you know I've got some um, really old book pages in here to keep notes and keep that closed just like that and in here I'm not going to take it out I'm going to leave it as a surprise this is an original piece of ephemera and then I've got another piece of um, German book page, page in here but um, that's a little surprise in there okay another little uh, cluster tuck this is from the kit and I made a little booklet okay it's from a magazine couple of flips and look did they win the lotteries oh might have <laughs> um, beautiful vintage doily here snippet of it anyway here are a few some um, photo corners okay and um, um, you can take this out okay so you can put a photo in of your choice and this is um, one of the uh, photos of the kit and altered playing card and I've just tucked in a piece of original ephemera and then you come to the flip and look what's in here you've got a notepad okay quite quite big and the front um, uh, you can always reuse you can take pages out add pages to it it has one of my faux wax seals that I made with um, the hot glue and then on the back you've got another tuck and it holds copies of original 1954 workers union okay with a little rusty paper clip Then on the back, I've popped on one of my little um, booklets that I made from um, Woolies brown paper bags. Okay, just flips open. You've got a little tuck spot here, just there. Okay, oh, what's that? Oh, there you go. You might as well. I might as well put that in there. So, there you go. And then you open that up and you have another little scribbly notepad and a little pocket and you just close that up with a bit of um, crochet cotton okay and then on the top here you've got another tag in the middle this is made from an envelope that I totally covered and altered got a couple little um, tab um, cards in there it's an original tea card okay my original stamps I've put on there can you see that I hope I didn't what see that so that's that and that just tucks in here so I've left the middle of the envelope so they can pop that in there okay and um, you can see the brown envelope just there so that's that one I won't close it it's going to take me too long next one um, this is called uh, mirror mirror okay I had this um, piece of um, like a frame and I'll just actually cut the inside out and popped in some of that glitter foam and then just grunge it up to darken it because it was right in your face and I've used these beautiful um, appliques which is part of a fabric this was an envelope and I covered it in wax paper hence the brown dark brown and the tie is a organza I'm a bit hesitant using organza ties because they're so slippery, so slippery and on the end I've popped on a beautiful glass like an um, you know like a really greenish olive glass a bead just there shaped in a heart so here you have um, the fabric, this is a scarf with the tassels on the end, metal filigree and a couple of little um, 
interest little tickets there with a little bit of old piece of jewelry curtain wax paper and german book paint all right and this is a cutout from a magazine same as this so that's that mm. lovely texture they're all nice and squishy this has got lots of torn pages again you know you've got a pocket here this is from a, a book that i have it's quite large i thought well i might as well share some pages it's all about the mirrors and that just pops back in here and then i've made a little vellum pocket this is from a um, paper pad the back and i just had some made some tags Pop them in there and this is a little letter again printed out too small I wanted a bigger size and the ink cartridge was coming getting low but hey it worked a few little label clusters this is a altered paper clip okay various fabrics doily cardboard I uh, printed that out from somewhere, I can't remember, a little label. And on the back you've got a little petty cash voucher. Um, scribble a little notepad there. Here you've got a um, bag that I attached to make it into a flip, so you can journal on it if you wish. Um, it holds scrappy little notepads, okay, with my um, whale tail tabs. On there and then this one has another one with another petty cash petty cash voucher pop that in there and I'll tag this is an original tape measure okay I've got a better meter of it left um, yeah you can feel it it's very aged another one of those photos look she's looking in the mirror and showing off her little dress <clears throat> another one of the photos just made it a flip I used the scarf as a fabric flip baking paper little collage here with little tags just there that you can pull out in the middle of the signature you have an envelope and in here you've got made a little tag and it's actually got a little tuck in there as well you can pop something in there and then a little um, notepad from the pages now old piece of ephemera one take it all out 1954 from the Australian Home Journal mirror mirror altered paper clip I don't have many altered paper clips left I have to make some you know you'll find I didn't ink these edges I, I didn't want to ink too much they've got pretty well coffee stained and it just like that tear look you have just a little flip out one of my um, stamp clusters an original stamp and these are as old as what I've been here in Australia which is from 1965 so pretty old and of course one of my stickers okay you know the story about that that's over 50 they're over 50 years old so i'm starting to use them mirror mirror <laughs> and look she's looking in the mirror and she doesn't look very happy does she but i still think she's beautiful made it into a tag and little cluster open it up and you've got another notepad that you can add pages to or take out and you have a pocket just here with a couple of tags in here you have another pocket and holds an altered envelope it's got a little tuck in here use papers a tab just there and then on the center you've got a um, altered time card okay with a bit of um, braid on the top and that's the whole length of the middle of the journal 
and that's that and it doesn't have any pockets on this side because you've got all the three pockets there and that's that one last but not least this is the smallest of them um, this is the Franken Franken paper um, you know take me anywhere notebook I suppose take me anywhere trifold um, <clears throat> I've made it so you can just throw it in your bag or your suitcase and take it with you and drop down some ideas that you might get you know whether you're an artist or whether you're a writer and uh, yeah so you can write on here as well okay so there's all the um, different collage of franken papers that I've used corrugated cardboard various papers really love the look on the end you've got a, a rusty ring and a metal bead now watch the video with uh, Maggie and Laurie um, go on the ridge they were making a um, trifold from ledger paper well I don't have ledger paper so I had um, but I like the idea of it and I <coughs> had a paper pad that had sort of like ledger paper on it so I used that as a flip on the front and then you have a pocket here and I've just popped in some bits and bobs and here's another one of those little photos I had left and I found this in a book it says number of pieces I mean how appropriate is that for this little trifold because it's a lot of pieces in there that you can write on and I sandwiched some fabric in between as well okay so this doesn't have a pocket it's um, a much um, thinner one but I've lined it also with um, um, uh, tissue paper or uh, a dressmaking paper as well and hence the crunchiness so here we have a flip which is an envelope and you've got bits and bobs in there and I think you've got a piece of ridge gnaw in here yes you do Grover's Brothers Pharmacy receipt dated 1925 so it's pretty well aged so that just goes in there it's very thin that's why I thought I'll leave it all complete without trying to fold too much of it which now I'm not going to get in there I'll put that in later I want to ruin it um, so yeah so and then on here you've got a tuck spot with lots of bits and bobs in it and then I had this die cut gifted to me of a um, typewriter and I've just made it in such a way so you can stick something in there so it looks like someone's been typing on it <laughs> <laughs> and here Betty belly band with a stack of um, coffee dyed um, guest checks and you know part of a book page that you can journal on and then here we have a book page pocket this is a tea bag dictionary paper just various papers and you can journal on that this photo you can take out okay I've made it so that you can take it out and put something in um, we we could be anything we the family we the friends um, so yes yeah, so you can take this out or you can journal on the back of that as well baking paper this is uh, the other side of the envelope and I've made it into a tuck spot I've made a little index card this is a paper towel another one of the um, of the kit picture photo of the kit the middle of the signature has an envelope and um, you can use this um, I've made these a while ago and I used to use them for tabs uh, this has a Franken paper tag in it okay but this one has a little surprise in it and I'm not going to share it I'll let you discover it okay it's got to have some sort of mystery doesn't it I never know to put them back on I'll do that later um, and for this the other side of the envelope and on the front of it I've made a po couple of pockets from a book page tag and another tag and I use one of the photos from the kit here's the other end of the envelope and you can actually pop something in here too if you wanted to okay because that's the opening of the envelope a secret little pocket and it's just some tags I've popped in here 
Um, packaging paper. Oh, jeez. Everything's dropping out. Just bear with me. I'm trying to rush now. Um, so, yes, yeah, so uh, this was packaging. You can still see the barcode there. And it said it had the word ambient. There was more to it, but I covered up because I really like that word. And there's the group of girls there, and it's a flip. Another little um, little cluster tuck spot, one of my envelopes. And this here, it's a teeny tiny little notebook or journal, if you want to call it that. You put some secret little codes in there. And this is the envelope that just unfolds. Okay. I'm sorry if this video is so long, but I can't get them any shorter. Another flip. And of course, this is a flip. And then you've got another pocket here with some ephemera in it. Beautiful little verse. You'll have to read that. Here's that dressmaking paper. And a belly band with some lined, scrappy bits of paper. And on the back here, this is actually a cutlery envelope. We went to a, um, we went to a, a cafe and they put their cutlery in it. So I've been collecting them. And I've made a tag to go in there. And I've left it blank for you to journal on or decorate how you wish. Another tag just here. And that just tucks in the back. This is packaging. When I saw that, it was a window of a, of a box. I cut it out and you kept that. I've had that for such a long time. And here's um, just an index card that just goes in there. This is a picture from a magazine. I backed it with some coffee dyed paper, franken paper. Now this one here I've put on um, some uh, book pages, and not realising it, but look at this. I really like this. I thought, well, you can still journal on here. So I've kept it. I didn't line it with any coffee dyed paper. And that just goes in here, and that just closes here, and I've got to put all that back again. And then that just goes in here like that. All right, so that's that video. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I'll load this up and then I'll put those um, journals in my Etsy store in a couple of days so they won't be loaded up straight away because I want to get the other two parts. And um, the next video will be these, okay? Chunky monkeys that I finished bit by bit um, that I had started quite a while ago. So, yes, yeah, so um, part two. All right, so stay tuned and um, thanks again for sticking around. Um, hope you can see what items I've used, a lot of recycled items, and um, I've just got to use up a lot of my stash. Until next time, you know what you've got to do. Happy crafting. I'll be going outside today. Bye for now.